It is another dangerous, bitterly cold night in Chicago, and we want you to stay weather alert. Yeah, we've got team coverage of this extreme cold snap. From places to stay warm to trouble on the ground and at both airports. And we begin tonight with Chief Meteorologist Emily Walls. Yeah, our wind chill temperatures right now ranging for most of us between 15 and about 25 degrees below zero. Actual air temperatures at this hour hovering just a couple of degrees below zero for most areas. This is the alerts that we are uh, dealing with here. So all locations that you see here highlighted in this grayish purple color across most of northeastern Illinois. That's a wind chill warning that expires tomorrow at noon, but then that's going Going to be replaced by a wind chill advisory afternoon, taking us all the way into our day on Wednesday. Same goes for the south suburbs, northwest Indiana, wind chill advisory remaining in effect until 9 a.m. on Wednesday. So we are far from over when it's coming to the cold conditions. Warnings advisories through Wednesday morning, blowing and drifting snow in open areas tonight, but especially tomorrow. Finally, we do have some warmer air that's going to be here later this week. I'll have those details coming up. Well, one of the most challenging things to do in all of this is stay warm, even if you're outside for just seconds. Yeah, now warming centers are open and people are being urged just stay inside. Our Nate Rogers keeping warm tonight with more on how your day tomorrow will be impacted. Nate. Yeah, absolutely, Don and Scott. Right now we are inside New Life Covenant Church here in Humboldt Park where they're giving folks um, a bite to eat, but most importantly, a break from the dangerous cold. Earlier today, my photographers and I, we were out and about, mainly downtown, just folks talking to folks that were working in the cold, also commuting in the cold. Truly was a brutal day. I've been in Chicago all my life. I'm dressed warm. Chicago Public Schools canceling all classes and after-school programs for a second day in a row. In a statement, authorities saying in part, quote, with wind chills that could reach negative 30 degrees, it would be unsafe for staff and students to travel to school. How do your ears feel right now? I can't feel my ears. How do you feel about the cold? Is it bothering you? Um... <laughs> I can't feel my toes right now, so a little bit, yeah. Early afternoon, we saw many folks in and out of this Jewel Osco along North Clark Street, some picking up essentials, others hanging out in the vestibule for relief from the bitter cold. And then for you with two coats, I mean, well, what is it? If, th if this one doesn't work, you're going to put on this one? You know, just have to have a backup at all times. <laughs> it's the type of weather where any skin exposed, even for a short period of time, can result in frostbite. The city of Chicago activating its emergency operation plan through Wednesday, several warming centers, including the Harold Washington Library, open 24-7. I'm under so many layers, I feel like a quarter of it. By sundown, you could see steam rising from underground about a block away here on North Bobian Court. Eric Sturgeon still needing to make some cash, spending a great deal of time on his bicycle delivering food in the elements. What's been your strategies from getting just to get through the bit of weather? layers, um, making sure you stay in warm buildings longer than you're out here. And back out here live, as you can see, I'm folks still able to get a hot bite of food, um, a hot plate of food, I should say. They also got about 40 cots set up with blankets um, and some heaters in here as well. Now, this is just one of the many warming centers. Again, this one taking place um, at the New Life Covenant Church here in Humble Park, where they say they plan to be open from 7 p.m. till 7 a.m. Um, for folks to rest and to stay the night now, for a list of other warming centers and other places that folks are able to go get a relief from the cold. You can go to our website at fox32chicago.com. Don't forget to stay safe and stay warm out there. In Humble Park, I'm Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago. I'm Casey Cronus at O'Hare, where the extreme cold is causing some operations to grind to a halt. At least 370 flights in and out of O'Hare have already been canceled, with more than 850 delayed. Midway is also seeing more cancellations and delays than usual, leaving some customers to brace for turbulence. I think I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. My connection from uh, Chicago to St. Louis got canceled. Really want to be on ground on time. As an Arctic blast sends chills across the region, many travelers are stuck or delayed. Bags separated from their owners stacking up. We're on time. That's a surprise. Others lucky to get off the ground on time. Can't get out of here fast enough, quite honestly. We're going to Punta Cana. 
So about an 80 degree difference. When temperatures are this extreme, flying itself isn't the issue, but preparing a plane for flight can be. Aircraft hydraulic systems, cargo doors, and fuel nozzles can freeze up, and de-icing planes takes time. I was supposed to fly out originally on Thursday night, ended up having to fly out um, Saturday morning because of the delays. Airlines like Southwest say they also must limit time that crews spend outdoors and rotate their teams more frequently to lower risks of frostbite. This is Chicago. Every other year we get something like this, so kind of used to it, kind of not. The cold weather even caused O'Hare's airport transit system to break down Sunday. Service has since been restored, but officials say they will continue to provide supplemental shuttle buses as needed over the coming days. Some customers tell us it has helped cut wait times by rebooking canceled flights directly on their airline's mobile app. More delays are expected tomorrow. If you are traveling, be sure to check your flight status, maybe not once, but twice before leaving home. Reporting from O'Hare, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago. So again, as Nate mentioned, Chicago area schools canceling classes tomorrow along with dozens of districts statewide. We've got a full list online at fox32chicago.com as well as at the bottom of your screen. Just to name a few, District 89 in Melrose Park. They are e-learning tomorrow. So too will District 103 in Lyons and several districts in Calumet City. Cold weather, freezing train service in and around Chicago. Some transit systems shut down temporarily. There were derailments and serious delays. Tia Ewing is here now with an update. Well, Don and Scott, public transit today has been all across the board in terms of delays. At around 5.45 this evening, an outbound metro train derailed near Union Station. No one was hurt, and all the passengers made it off safely. It's unknown if weather, though, played a factor in that, but it did impact metro service the entire day. Metra, Amtrak, and also CTA, they all had issues because of the dangerously cold weather. There were delays on most lines because of mechanical problems, broken rails, and also switch, switch issues. Crews had to turn on the switch heater, setting fire to the metro train tracks amid sub-zero temperatures. We had delays on most of our lines. Um, they range from mechanical failures to broken rails to switch problems. Um, and what happens is because, you know, because of the weather, it's just so cold and steel reacts and it contracts and there's only so much we can do. Well, because this is a fluid situation with the weather, make sure to check your route before traveling. Metro trains have been running into the evening with a 20 to 25 minute delay. Dawn. Thanks, Tia. The Illinois Tollway is launching what it calls zero weather road patrols to more quickly locate and help drivers who become stranded. The patrols are made up of trucks that can divert traffic around stranded drivers, as well as towing capabilities to help those who get stuck. Drivers who need help are encouraged to dial star 999 and wait in their vehicle for help to arrive. And there is a weather cleanup in Northbrook. Village Hall will be closed tomorrow after a pipe burst. The building suffered water damage this evening. We are told due to cold temperatures in portions of the building. Many government services are still available online. The village plans to reopen offices on Wednesday after cleanup operations have been completed. And some steps to keep your pipes from freezing. Wrap exposed pipes in unheated areas. Let faucets drip. Open cabinets under sinks to keep warm air circulating around your pipes. And outside, make sure hoses are disconnected for the winter. Although if you haven't done that already, it may be too late.